<laughs> that was oh. awesome. Uh, so first of all, lovely to have you back here, boys. I need to check, because uh, I know you've met the boys before, Michael, but, but when you're working with One Direction, I realise now it's a bit like going on a long car journey with children. You need to check first, do any of you need to go to the toilet? <laughs> Because we had a moment last time you were on the show, didn't we? Yeah, we did, but um, what people didn't know about that was you told me I could go to the toilet in two minutes, the interview would be quick. Yeah. 20 minutes later, you let me go to the toilet. Wow. So, at any chance tonight, <coughs> they offer you a drink backstage, I've turned it down, I've dehydrated. <laughs> but I figured you're young men, I figured you've got your bladders are working fully, you know, cos, like, man of my age, sure, you don't pass up the opportunity to go to a toilet, do we, Michael? You go, <laughs> never pass up the opportunity to go to a toilet and never trust a fart. But you guys... <laughs> Your eyes, I imagine. You, I thought you could hang, but you were actually in pain. It's actually in pain. At one stage, I thought it was weighing down my leg. <laughs> well, I apologise, Flex. I didn't wish that on you, but you're okay right now. No one needs a, a comfort uh, break as they call it. Three times. Right, okay. yeah. in that room. All right. So you've just finished. Uh, now, am I right? This was your fourth world tour. Yeah. What do you miss when you're away, and what is it when you finish? What do you think? Okay, I can now have the time to do this that I couldn't do when I was on the road. Well, I mean, being in hotels, having a fridge. Is always, that's actually a really good thing when you get home and yeah. your own fridge with your own stuff in. Yeah. But Sorry. then there is room service the opposite side as well. I'm so glad I can, I can help. <laughs> there's a fridge, there's a mini bar. <laughs> <laughs> there's, a, there's a mini bar just under the telly. Yeah. <laughs> you've been on the tour for five years, you've never looked under the telly. I, 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 I just love that. It's amazing, it's got all these little <laughs> bottles of stuff and there's, it's really good. Cool. <laughs> but they charge you. Louis, what do you look for? When you get your life back, which I guess this is what's happening here. Um, I like to just play football when I'm at home, to be honest, because obviously we don't get a lot of time on the road, so just have a lot of kick arounds nice with the lads, yeah. Harry? I think it's probably sleeping in different beds. Is It's nice when you're at home for a while. <laughs> um, <'cause> <laughs> I agreed with you, I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I think we all agree, right. but most of us don't get the chance. <laughs> we can skip those questions. No, why are we skipping that question? <laughs> and Niall, for you, apart from the same answer? I guess, uh, just home cooking. Yeah. Like, your mum's cooking and stuff like that. What does, uh, what does your mum cook that you particularly like? When you get home, what do you ask her to do first? What's the first like, su if Sunday roast, even if it's not Sunday. Yeah, just yeah. hope that she's got Crazy. some sort of... Uh, yeah, I'm a rebel. So, like a, um, like a Monday roast? Yeah, Monday roast. <laughs> Tuesday roast? Yep. Wednesday? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, OK. <laughs> when, when you're away like that, when you're, you know, we know you're, you're travelling a lot and we know you're having fun as well, um, but are there times when you think, OK, I, well, not that I wish this didn't happen, but I wouldn't mind knowing what a normal life was like? Because your life for the first five years, last years, have been extraordinary and peculiar in some ways, I would have thought. And there must be times when you wonder, you know, what would it be like if we hadn't come third in X Factor? No, because <laughs> you've done okay for yourself. Do you know what I mean? It's like... um, I don't think we'd change anything. I, I, you know, we've we all feel very lucky to have kind of had this opportunity. And I think if we sat and started thinking, oh, I wish we'd have played more pubs and clubs, it'd be like a silly way to look at it. Well, I so. guess you could do a pub or club we if could. you wanted to. Yeah. Are you ever tempted to sneak in and do a kind of undercover gig like that just for the hell of it? I did, when I went to Florida, I forgot to tell you this, actually. I did karaoke in, um, in an Applebee's in America, which was hilarious. <laughs> and this guy just literally went to me, oh, nice voice, kid. I was literally like, <laughs> <laughs> it was brilliant. What did you sing? <laughs> I sang um, Ordinary People by um, John Legend, which yes. was nice. Yeah, nice. nice. Good but karaoke tune. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's, that's good. We are ordinary people. <laughs> Way to go. <laughs> Take it slow. <laughs> you know what's so tragic though? This is clearly an audition. I mean, he's clearly. <laughs> okay, um, well, that's reminded me of a name that blurted out earlier on. Of course, Zane is missing. Of course, he's gone. He's left the band. He left Zane the... is missing! <laughs> <laughs> Has anyone seen Zane? <laughs> I'm uh, Zane. Come on! <laughs> So, uh, is missing. That Sorry. was a fair, but it seemed very abrupt to the outside world. The, the one minute he was with you, and the next minute it seemed like he was going to go, and then he was gone very quickly. So, um, who wants to answer this one? What, what happened there? What went on? And, and who, who amongst you was aware beforehand that he was beginning to feel uncomfortable and wanted to leave the band? You want to answer this one, Michael? Yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> you know, Zane is Zane is, as we all know, he's one of the boys, he's a talent, he's <laughs> exceptional, he, he's got it all, you know? And uh, we're on the road, and to be honest, the thing is, is that 
I couldn't find the fridge. I called Liv. I said, <laughs> I said, Liv, where's the fridge? He said, McIntyre, you know there's no fridges in hotels. That's why I can't wait to get home. <laughs> he said, I don't know. I said, I've just called on. Is it his mum's having another roast? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So then I called Harry and, I don't know, I called the reception. They said he could be in literally any hotel <laughs> in the whole of the country. So I called oh, Zane, dear. told him everything. He said, I've had enough of this. <laughs> well, that's one possible scenario, OK? But uh, who was the closest to him in the band, and maybe still is? If you were when you know. Again, please. <laughs> <laughs> Louis, I think it was you, wasn't it? I think when we were in the band, yeah, probably, maybe, uh, maybe it was me. Um, and, you know, I think we, we all kind of noticed that he wasn't thoroughly enjoying it, and, yeah. uh, and we were. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it can be an intense job at times, and I think it got a little bit too much for him, and he wanted to be in a different place, and that's fair enough. And, you know, he's gone his own way now, so yeah. fair dues. Are you still close with him right now? Do you still speak too much? Mm. <laughs> when was the last time you spoke to him? Uh, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago or something. So that's quite a while then, really. So he's still sorting himself out, I guess, and working out. Because it's a lot for him to process. Yeah, I think he wants to dis decision. distance himself. Let's FaceTime him! He's not available for FaceTime. Okay. Uh, now, what are you guys going to do? You've announced that you're taking a break from performing and from recording as well, as I guess. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and, and that's starting now, I guess, is it? Now you finish the tour? End of the year. Yeah, end of the year. End of the year. Really, okay, yeah. so between now and the end of the year, a few more things to do, and that's it. What are your plans? And do you know how long that's going to be for? Is that an indefinite break? Is that a year and a half, two years? What's the? I don't know. I think we, you know, we've got the album coming out and stuff, and obviously we just finished the tour, so we have a lot of work that we're still focusing on. And then um, I think the point of the break is that it's going to be a, a break, and we're going to have some time off with no kind of pressure. And we kind of wanted to go on a holiday, but I, that's never going to happen. Like of we're the most, it is. we're the least organised people ever. But you've been most places. But I guess when you go most places on tour, you don't get to see the places, do you? You're kind of, in a way, sort of trapped in your room, aren't you? Well, that was funny, when you went on, uh, to um, Australia for your holiday the one time and they had the radio stations look for Nile was the thing on the radio stations. <laughs> That's not a great thing they could do, really, for you. To no, give you no. Not when it's fun as no. Did you find yourself? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I called it, I called it said I found it. <laughs> if there's a prize, you should have done that. <laughs> All right, let's take a break. We'll chat some more afterwards. And we've got a fun thing. Uh, I've asked uh, fans in the audience to give us a list of things. We're going to play that game, Never Have I Ever. Oh, God. Well, Michael, you're going to stay with us as well, I hope. Absolutely. Don't you kidding. go away. So stick around. We're back in a minute with Michael McIntyre and One Direction. <laughs> <laughs> 